congratulations on an historic season to this point, Matt. Uh, thanks a lot, Neil. Just so happy for our players, the toughness, the grit. Uh, you know, down 12, five and a half to go, and just looked like we were out of gas. And, um, you know, it takes some physical toughness, but a lot of mental toughness uh, to find a way. And uh, credit to our players for doing it. You know, I've said it before, you know, our great assistant we had, you know, Shane Nichols, he always would say, I hate when the other team tries to win. <laughs> and uh, it's so true. I mean, those guys from SEMO played, played really well. Uh, they've got a lot of offensive firepower. Uh, we had a tough time stopping them. Um, but when we got into that final bind of the regular season, uh, we go 20 to four or 20 to six uh, to finish it. And uh, what a shot by Juice Hill uh, to put us ahead. And then uh, unfortunately missed some, lay, uh, some free throws there. We could have iced it away and then we had a defensive breakdown uh, to, just to make it a little more interesting. Uh, but at the end of the day, a uh, hundred years from now, the look back, it'll say 18 and 0, racers. You knew that uh, you were probably going to get the kind of night you had out of KJ Williams. There's no shock. We've come to expect uh, great nights from him. Uh, Juice Hill finished strong, but this game, I told Kenny, uh, this game was won whenever you uh, had Trey Hannibal sign on the line and say, "I'm going to come to Murray State," because without him, I'm not sure what you'd have done. He really provided a spark, in the, especially in the first half, coach. That was a big key. Uh, the run we able to finish the first half and finish the second half with great runs, and and he certainly led that one in the first half. Uh, we just struggled uh, to get easy looks, and I got to again give a lot of credit yeah. to Coach Corn. Uh, they're a much, much improved defensive team from the first time we saw them back December 30th. Um, but, you know, you look at our numbers, only six assists. That's rare for us. Uh, we had to rely on dribble drive from Trey, getting to the basket and finishing plays, and uh, KJ down in the post, some offensive rebounds. But, you know, as we always say at the end of the day, you just got to find a way to win, and, and that's what these guys – somehow continue to do we we were concerned coach with this, such an emotional high on thursday night and then you get on a bus and travel uh, I, I actually thought there was great life in their legs at shoot around today though and i felt really good about that piece but you could see the last eight minutes that fatigue i think mentally as much as physically was, was something that the team was battling through yeah i think so kenny and uh you know credit to our guys for finding a way right but you know, it's always interesting to me. I'm sure you know, there'll be some people who will say uh, they were overconfident or you know, they just thought since they beat Belmont or what, they're ranked. Yeah. They think, no, it, man, our guys show up and play yeah. every night. Uh, the other team does too. And credit to SEMO. They played very well. Uh, we struggled in our ball screen coverage. They did a great job slipping screens. We missed some rotations. Um, but, you know, winning on the road's tough. I mean, go, go look at any team in America. Right. Any team in America. It's, it's hard to win on the road. Uh, I thought the toughness that you played with defensively the second half, Manny Patterson had 12 first-half points, really didn't have an answer for, for him as he was, he was very aggressive. He has no points in the second half, but the biggest key, I think, halftime the points in the paint were 12 to 12, and that was a stat that the racers dominated in the first game. But the second half, racers outscored them 24 to 14 in the paint. That was the key. They, they got us a couple of more post-ups by Patterson, but I thought he did a really nice job in their ball screen actions, getting open down the middle of the lane. Second half, we were able to get KJ some more yeah. looks in the post on a couple out-of-bounds plays that were big for us. And, uh, you know, the points in the paint, we, we knew that would be a big key. Uh, I think the other thing, we didn't stop them enough. Their field goal percentage offense, way too good. But we did turn them over. Right. Uh, so they either scored or we turned them over. It was hit yeah. or miss there. But when we did turn them over, we converted that to points. Exactly. I think we were 22 to 8 20, on turnovers. Exactly. 20, that was a big key as yeah, well. Yeah, that was big. And I, I, I thought that, that, you know, Juice Hill – might have played his, his worst 32 minutes yeah. that we've seen. He just just never could really get it going. I mean, he you know he wasn't playing awful, but he wasn't yeah. playing juice like. And oh my, did he when he scored? You know the he made the the driving layup, then made the three to tie it off the great offensive rebound by DJ Burns, and then as you said, the the three to, to take the lead. Yeah, really big play. 
uh, the three to take the lead. But if I'm not mistaken, when it was uh, 64, we scored to go 64-59, and it was that patented hook and hold foul when we scored. Yes. Um, DJ got the, you know, it's close to flagrant too, but it, we got the two free throws in the ball, and uh, Juice hit the three off yeah. that possession, I believe, to cut it to one. And then we just got stops. I kept reminding our guys in the huddle, you know, last three minutes at, at Martin, eight to one, we outscored them. Uh, last five minutes at Moorhead, 17 to four, outscored them. Just keep doing what we do, find a way, let's get it done. The team finally gets a chance to rest a few days. You know, you don't have a game until Friday, so that's rare. You get a little bit of extra time off. You get to celebrate this one a bit. We have the bracket in front of us, and if things go as planned, next Friday night it'll be Tennessee State, who's way behind right now against Belmont, SIUE or SEMO. And uh, SIUE coming off a big win against Moorhead State, so it will not be an easy wow. opponent there on Friday night. Yeah, I hadn't seen the results yet today. That is a great win uh, for Edwardsville. Um, you talked about Tennessee State. You saw our game at their place, you know, down 13 in the first half. They've got a lot of firepower. Obviously, we just saw SEMO and the way they're able to score. So it would be a great challenge for us, but uh, really looking forward to it. Take a couple days here and, and get refocused in. Really need to get better next week and practice uh, and be ready to roll. Hopefully have a great crowd in Evansville. Uh, you know, Really thankful for the crowd we had here today. Uh, once again, really willed us down the stretch. They willed us down the stretch. Uh, awesome when you can turn around behind that bench and see a lot of Navy and gold cheering you on. But uh, can't wait to get to Evansville and, and play in the conference semifinals on Friday night. 18-0, unprecedented. It's never been done. What a way to go out of the OBC in the final regular season. i tell you what, Neil, it, it really is. It, it's amazing. Um, there's something about it being here, too. Um, you know, like I said, I got great respect for the job Coach Corn's doing and building his program. They played fantastic today, but I, you know, this is year 11 for me here, and you know, I can go back. You know, the hundredth win was here a couple years ago. We were down four with 50 seconds to go, and found a way to get it to overtime and win. Um, the miracle, the the last time we went undefeated, when T.J. Sapp uh, got fouled shooting a three to get it to overtime and win. And even my, my first year here as an assistant, uh, clinched the OVC championship here. It was also, you know, Jawan Long's one of the best people I've ever met in my life. It was the anniversary of his father passing away. Mm -hmm. And uh, just, you know, been a lot of emotional moments and victories here. Uh, so this is certainly a special way to end it and, and one we'll, we'll never forget. Matt, congratulations, and uh, we'll see you on the bus. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, Neil. Thanks, Kenny. Let's go, racers.